Hello. Today we're going to take a look at magnetic fields, magnetic forces on charges in electric fields. We're going to be able to see the three-dimensional nature of these forces. So, we have for you a dish that is lined with a plate of copper and filled with salt water. Just table salt has been added to the water to make the water a good conductor. Inserted into the center of the pool of water, we have a metal pole that's connected to a power supply. The other end of that power supply is connected back to the copper wire. When we turn on the power supply, we will get an electric current running radially through this pool of water. Right now we have the positive connected to the copper, the negative connected to the pole, so current will run inward radially. We will then bring a magnet into the field. When the magnet comes close to the water, it will begin to move these charged water ions that are carrying current. It will begin to move them around in the pool of water. But we're not going to be able to see this. So in order for us to be able to actually see the movement of these charged water ions in the pool of water, we have pepper. So we're going to take some black pepper and just sprinkle it onto the water so that we can see what's going on here. All right, so now we have a good amount of pepper going on there. We're going to turn on the current, and initially, nothing will happen. You'll begin to see a little bit of cloudiness come into the water as electrolysis is going to start to happen, and we're going to end up electroplating the metal pole. Um, so we're going to try to do this quickly so we can see the full effect. So here we go. Now turn on the power supply and bring in the magnet. And you can see those things charging. Now we're gonna flip the magnet around the other way. And you'll see them begin to swirl around the other way. Okay, so what's happening here is the magnetic field from the magnet is actually forcing the ions to move around. The center of this. Now, let's shut this off. And we will now swap out the, the power cords. We're going to now make the copper, the negative plate and the pole the positive electrode. Okay, it's at rest enough. We'll turn on the power supply and we'll bring in the magnet. So now we're going to make a radial current that goes outward from the center to the copper. And we'll bring in our magnet and we can see everything begin to swirl. Currently the south pole is aimed down. You can see everything swirling one way. And now we'll bring in the North Pole. And this is when you really see the water start to become a mess. But we can see everything now swirling the other way. Thank you.